Hello, how are you all doing? It's me, One Doctor Genius, and welcome back to episode three of our walkthrough video. So I think I've changed the objective that I'm actually gonna go for Bonfire Spire and show you guys how to get the hot walk boots. So right for Hello this, there. you're not a slurpy butt. All right, guys. So for this, the first thing which you'll need is we'll need to get a water pet. So I think we're gonna need to go to Captain Eve hey, and finish one of her quests. The name's Eve. Pleasure to meet you. You must be the prodigy in training that Everyone's, everyone's talking, talking about. about. This means this that means if you pass, pass my, my test, test, I'll, I'll give, give you my warden keystone. keystone. Just like the, the other, other guardians, guardians on the island. You'll be one step up in just... Alright, so just go through the intro and basically we'll tell you guys to go through the right and find a breathing bubble. A breathing... Bre breathing... Yes, a breathing bubble. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So yeah, basically defeat the monster over here, and now you guys don't want to catch this monster. What you guys are looking for is a water type pet, so this is useless in our goal for a water type pet. So just kill the monster Alrighty and guys, move on. So let's head up. Alrighty guys, so let's head up. Alrighty guys, so I'm not going to waste any time, I'm just going to catch the first water pet which I see. Right guys, so over here you guys can see we have an aqua Stir, which is a water pet in Prodigy. So obviously, you guys know what I'm going to do, I'm just going to catch one of these pets over here and then leave immediately. Because the only thing which you need is the water pet, we don't need anything else, we're focusing on Bonfire Spire. Ah, that seems like a cute supernova type spell. Wait, these are what the new spells look like? They look so different from when I played Prodigy. Like, back in the old days, back in the old days, it used to be that you had certain different types. This is so much more different than, like, the old days of Prodigy. I remember a time when 100, like, 200 damage would be crazy. And now you're just doing it at, like, level 1 or 2. This is so crazy. Oh yeah, anyways, we've done enough damage to both of them in order to catch them. Now, I do believe that the Funkeel has more health, although I'll catch the Aquaster because I want to be- Oh, what if we catch both? I think maybe going with two water pets would- Kaching. One water pet is being rescued. Yes, you guys heard that, right? We have officially caught in our first water type pet. Right now, I'm going to catch a second water type pet because it's the law, and I think this one has more health, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it has more health. Let's rescue this as well. Let's see, which object is bigger? I think it's the bear. Wait, are bears bigger than alligators? Actually, the question is, bears can stand up to 6 feet tall. Aren't most alligators like 6 feet long? So, isn't it exactly like about the same height? Well, either way, we got ourselves a funky, which is good. So let's click next, get all of our stuff, and basically equip both pets, and then go to Bonfire Spire. Because a lot of you guys have been requesting how do we get the boots of Hot Walk on some of my videos, so I'll be showing you guys that. Alright guys, so let's just teleport over to Bonfire Spire, and it seems like that we have finally managed to unlock the Titan, so news will tell us about that. But that's not our goal, our goal is Bonfire Spire. So let's quickly, so let's quickly equip our two water tape pets. And yes, I was correct, it seems like that the Aquaster has more health. Now of course you guys can move these pets forward if you want the pet to do most of the battle, although I do believe that the pets may have a higher amount of damage. Well either way, let's start following Slurpee's quest. So somewhere around halfway through Slurpee's quest, you guys will notice is that the actual part of it where you get closer to the boots of Hot Walk comes up. Right, so once you've defeated that monster, all you guys know is you just gotta pull the lever and continue on with the quest. The first three quests involve you guys pulling the levers to lower down the lava. So basically, when you lower down the lava, it will allow you to, um, it will allow you to uh, unlock new zones. And when you unlock new zones, what will happen is that you'll find out cooking recipes, you'll find out that Chef Shabellini has been fired and stuff, and basically what happens is that the boots of Hot Walk come into play when Chef Shabellini has stolen Slurpee's dish. Now I will elaborate more on this later on, but right now you guys can see we took very little damage. Anyways, let's unlock our membership box, collect our gold, and continue to flick the lever. Ooh, wait, no. Guys, if you have conjure cubes, I'd recommend you guys don't open them in the very beginning of the game. Like, save them up until you have everything in the game, and then open all 20 conjure cubes which you have at once, right? And when you open the 20 conjure cubes which you have at once, you guys will get items which you guys don't have. But if you open it in the beginning of the game, it will be a waste of the conjure cubes. It's this, and if you guys want items like these, well then you guys should use the parent reward boxes. Because the parent reward boxes are kind of overpowered, right? That takes care of the first lever! Alright guys, so basically Slurpee will tell you guys to flick the livers and that's the thing which you guys will be doing for the first few tasks. 
Now over here you guys can obviously tell that this battle is skippable, so just battle the pet over here and continue moving on forward. Alright guys, so once you guys reach level 10, you guys will be able to unlock yourselves the all-out attack. Basically this attack uses all of your energy and murders the monster in one hit. Boom! One hit and all of its health is dead. So yeah, let's click the next button and this pet does seem like it has one tenth of the health that it usually does. So just press the attack and of course the amount of damage which you guys do depends on your pets and stuff and of course you guys need all three pets to utilize it properly but yeah that's correct and this pet should be out of our way within a single spell. Now of course guys I'd recommend you don't waste your attacks on pets like these because it's just like a waste of your spell and rather you guys should use two or three person attacks unless you guys are really wow, frustrated. Nice one. What? Alrighty so let's just keep on moving on forward. Alright, so we only need to do one more battle before we should be able to flick the lever. And once we flick the lever, all of this lava will go away and then we'll be able to move on forward. Now, of course, there are monster battles in Prodigy where you may be battling two opponents or more. So, mo usually in the very beginning of the zones, you're only doing one-person monster battles. But the further you move on in the zone, the more monsters you will have to battle combined together. So right now, we're doing a three-person monster battle and the highest it gets to is three people, right? Yeah, the highest or the maximum amount of monsters which you guys can battle in a battle at once is three. Alrighty guys, so we should have our area spell charged up now so we can deal some damage to the pet behind it. So being able to deal additional damage is also is always very good. Alright, yeah, so let's cast our two person spell. Ah oh, yes, yeah, so you guys can see sometimes that in the beginning of the game these battles may take a little bit longer. So that's usually why you have to get better spells and stuff, but we're only taking 200 damage. So we're dealing an additional 200 damage to the enemy team for every damage which we take. Yeah. Also guys, if you guys can finish monster battles fast enough, you guys are sometimes able to skip other monster battles. Now unfortunately it won't be the case in this one because this tiny girl is taking way too long to die. Now, of course, I forgot to mention, but with every additional person who you're battling, you guys get more stars. And over here, you guys can see, it seems like that my entire team leveled up at once, although my wizard is three levels ahead of everyone. But anyways, that was the last battle which we needed to do on this floor, and now we can just sneak across, avoid that flagger battle, and basically pull the lever over here. Once you guys pull the lever, you want to teleport back to, fire, to Bonfire Spire, so basically click the next button, and then it will tell you. Right, just click OK, boom, Slurpee will give you the quest, just click next so you guys can get through it. Now what you guys have to do is you actually have to speed up and make sure that you guys can get through the monster battle over here. So the quicker you are, the easier it will be. So there you guys can see I was able to skip through that monster battle, and we can avoid another one. Now of course over here you guys want to battle whichever monster you want, but of course you want to get to the side faster. So I think I'll go for the, what do you call it, oh yeah, this has more health than the other pets. Well, either way, you guys should know that certain pets have more health than the other, but other pets do more damage. So in this case, the Bernutes would do more damage than the other pet would, but it would have less health. Alright guys, so over there you guys saw we did 400 damage, which is not too bad. And now we do believe that the damage which you guys deal increases with the, le with the level, and it seems like that the Flame Unique is only being able to do half of our damage to it back to us. Another 400 damage, and I do believe you'll be able to defeat this pet in less than 4 attacks, yeah. 4 attacks should be enough to finish off this monster. Alright guys, now that that battle's finished off, I think we can go over here, and I do believe that the lever is right over there, so once you guys pull the lever, you'll be tele you should teleport back to Slurpee. And now begins the part where you guys will actually get to the storyline and be able to get to the boots. So basically, Slurpee gives you the first few things. Wear the armor because it's pretty good. Ah, uh, yes. So now basically the storyline starts. You guys get all of his ingredients, you steal the cooking pots, and once you guys steal the cooking pots, you guys will be able to move on forward. 
right now basically the part where you guys will need um where you unlock the boots is basically near the end of bonfire spire so i guess we'll be sticking with bonfire spire until a long while in this video so i do believe that the next monster which we'll encounter over there is very close to spawning in so we should zoom by it as fast as possible all right guys so let's just zoom by the monster hopefully right we defeated the monster over here and over here you guys can see it's still spawning in which is quite good right so we can already collect the ingredients and we can teleport back which is nice so I do believe this is a lot easier than what it used to be, so I think Prodigy is being a little bit light on you guys right now. So I do believe we can skip, there's no monster battle over here, so we might even be able to skip, no, no we won't. Yeah, you'll have to go along this side, so there's a way to skip this monster battle, so just battle the monster over here, and now you guys will see that the sequence unfold. Let's just use the all out attack, because this is going to be a pestilence. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh, ha uh -huh. ha! Here we go, let's cast our spell, murder both pets in an instance. Now, of course, it seems like Prodigy did something about this where the damage doesn't happen immediately after the spell touches them. It seems like it takes some time. Now, of course, because I value time, it starts getting on my nerves. Like, it gets really annoying if it takes too long. Okay, it seems like that the wizard even had enough stuff to level up. Well, I do believe that my pets somehow gain their spells at level 11 and not 10. I. I'm quite sure I used to remember that you could gain spells while leveling up on other levels, but nope. So you guys saw over there how we basically sneak past the pets. Basically, the only thing which you guys gotta do is you just gotta make sure you guys click up over here and you'll be able to skip it. Now head back down over here and you should be good to go. One more pet to battle. Oh yeah, also there's a free chest which you guys can loot, so just click on the chest and you'll get some stuff. Alright, so that's quite nice. Now that this pet is out of our way, we can finally set the storyline. And now, of course, over here in this part, which I'm about to show you guys next, sometimes that your account may glitch and show you the monsters. Like, it's supposed to be a monster-free area when you guys are doing this, but sometimes it may not happen. Well, either way, let's just click the OK button and let's open the chest, click next, and basically put the raisins in this too. Right, let's open this chest over here quickly. Pow, next, only 200 gold, that's kind of disappointing, but okay. Ooh, another chest, let's open this. Yes. What? Ah yes, as you guys can see, you also have certain levels which you need to reach in order to equip staff. So anyways, let's head inside and see what happens. Right, it tells us to go to the side over here, and we'll see what happens on. Right, so over there you guys can see... we'll need to slip by Chabellini to get to... Alright, so basically what you guys do is you take cover under the cauldron, right, like this, and basically Chef Shabellini will pass by. Now what you guys want to do is you just want to click on it, and then once you guys do... Okay. Right, yeah, so all you guys do is basically do that, and you guys can teleport over. So in that case, we were actually quite lucky that our account did not glitch. But for my sister's account, she had a humongous glitch where all of the pets were there, so it became even harder for to play. Well anyways, let's see how fast we can get back down over there. Now I do believe that, okay, okay, because this pet hasn't spawned in, we guys can basically just speedrun the entire thing. We guys can get back to there in an instant, which is quite nice. So now I do believe you'll only be able to do this once because the rest of the pets will start spawning in fairly quickly now. Boom! Now over here we will see the royal stew being presented Let to the queen. Let the royal dinner commence. Ooh, Ooh this looks. Ooh, look at this! It smells, divine, this. It smells divine, Chabellini, as always. Yes, madame. I live to cook. Right. So basically, over here she eats the food and finds raisins. Mmm. What is this, Chabellini? Raisins? Go to Madame, I assure you. you. You have broken, broken the, the royal rule. rule. No raisins, raisins in the queen's dish. dishes. You have left, you me, have no left me no choice, Chabellini. You, you are fired. What? What? Fire? Fired? Me? me? This you is an outrage. outrage. You know, I love wasting Chef Chabellini's lines are so perfect. Have you haven't heard the last of Chef Chabellini Carpaccio. Yes. Totally pronounced that right. I think that's our cue to leave. Yeah, so basically now starts the problem. 
Valiant effort, yes. You got the chef fired and you're telling me Valiant effort. As you guys can see, Slurpee is an angel. We broke the royal rule? I didn't know she didn't like raisins. They don't tell kids anything. Yeah. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Without their dinner, looks like head to the three lovers and collect my cooking supplies. I always leave them there. Why do you leave your cooking supplies at three lovers? Right, so yeah, basically this is all you guys got to do, and from here, I think I'll sh explain the rest in my next video on how stuff works. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end this video off over here. I hope you guys found this video sort of informational and entertaining, and basically are a couple steps closer to getting the hotbox shoes. Now, of course, I will fully explain it in my next video or the next two videos. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys found this video informational and entertaining. And if you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. And I will be catching you all next time when Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time when Dr. Genius is going to collect Slurpee's cooking supplies.